Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. Today we are going to be turning with Wukong. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we are going to be doing. Hit play and left, right on the keyboard and on the mouse you can turn around and on the controller you will be able to turn around as well. Okay, so let's go into the header file of Wukong character and what we are going to need is turn rate and lookup rate so we're going to do that in the protected so we're just going to do void turn rate and that's going to be a float that's going to be a rate and we'll do void lookup rate that's going to be a float, and that is in the comment, input to turn at normalized rate given. Input to look up or down at normalized rate given. So turn rate is a float and it's a normalized rate given and input look up or down at normalized rate given as the look up rate. So these are going to be initialized and we'll do that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and go down to private. What we're going to need is we're going to need a float default default turn rate and visible anywhere read only camera yeah let's just go ahead and copy this already so default turn rate and default turn rate is degrees per delta time and we are going to need another float default look up rate and we're going to use the same u property specifier default lookup rate okay so we've added a turn rate and lookup rate so we just need to go in here and generate definition and hop back into the header and we've There we go. Okay, so we have turn rate and lookup rate. So that is in the CPP file. So the first thing we are going to do is initialize these. So let's go in here into the constructor and go ahead and put a colon and then you can do a default turn rate and we're going to use 45.f and we're going to do default lookup rate and use 45.f. What we'll do is we'll jump down here into turn rate. So for turn rate, we need to add the controller y'all input. So add controller y'all input. What we're going to do is we're going to do the rate times default turn rate times delta time and you get delta time by get world and you use get delta seconds so get world can be called by any actor uh, and the rate so the rate is 
like if you're on a controller when you take the right thumbstick and you barely move it that and that and it's turning that's the rate of it all the way over is of course 1.0 so what we're going to do is add controller y'all input we're going to do the rate times delta i mean rate times default turn rate times get delta seconds so and this turning the freeze per delta seconds and look up rate degrees per delta seconds and for the look up rate we do add controller pitch 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 there we go add controller pitch input same thing we do rate times default lookup rate times get world get delta seconds so we have the turn rate and we have t and we have the lookup rate so now what we need to do is we need to bind these We've got move right. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Find access rate. I'm going to do turn rate and we're going to call that method turn rate. Turn right, look up right. Look up right. Okay. And we have turn and look up. So that is going to be a little bit different because we we'll be able to use the pawn for this. This is the turn and look up. So what we can do is just do player input bind access. We can do this a pawn add controller yaw input and make sure you do not forget the comma. So Add controller y'all input, and then we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to do look up, except for that's going to be the pitch. So we'll just copy that. And we'll do look up. Add controller pitch input. So that should be all we need. Now we need to compile this and jump into the editor and add that. Let's go ahead and compile this. Okay, so we've compiled it and now we are going to jump in to project settings. Click edit project settings. Uh, we'll move that over. We'll go to engine section input. So right now we have the move forward and move right. Uh, And we're going to need a turn rate. And you click the little keyboard thing and you hit the arrow, the right arrow. That will be a positive one. We click add another one and that will be the left one. Now the left one is going to be a negative one. Then we add another one for the turn rate. Gamepad right thumb stick x axis. Game pad left thumb stick x axis. And 
we've got turn right now we need look up right look up so we got look up right it's going to be the up arrow then we do another one that is going to be the down arrow not the mouse it's going to be the down arrow and that is going to be negative one then we're going to do the y-axis for the gamepad so game pad left thumbstick y axis. Go ahead and add that. Look up. Well, we need to add turn. This is for the mouse. So this will be the mouse X. Mouse X. And then we come up here, we add another one. This is going to be the look up mouse Y. Not gamepad. We do mouse Y. Now it's going to be negative one. Now that all depends. It's the mouse Y, the negative one. When you move the mouse up, you look up. When you move the mouse down, you look down. The negative one is, I think, when you move the mouse up, you look up. We'll see it here in a second. So it all depends on how you like to have it. That's for the look up. So let's go ahead and go here. Let's click play. Click inside the editor and we can move around and we can grab the mouse and look around as well. And the gamepad should be working as well. I don't have my gamepad plugged in, so it should work. And that is all that we have for today. Thank you very much. Make sure you like and subscribe.